And if there's no value tomorrow, and again, there's a couple of plays I'll, 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 I'll share with you guys for tomorrow. But, you know, if there is nothing going on tomorrow, again, don't try to squeeze water out of a rock. Um, you know, there'll always be uh, something long term. And that's the whole point. You're not jeopardizing one trading session burning. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, the last update of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is doing great. Hope uh, 2021 has uh, treated you well, but the most important thing, and I can't emphasize this enough, and I think all of us uh, are on the same page. Hopefully, everybody continues to be in good health. That's the name of the game. You know, New Year's Eve, you want to be out there, you know, you want to have fun, da, 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 da. But again, always remember uh, the big picture. We're in a completely different world. Again, if you told us two years ago in our lifetime that we are going to be facing a global pandemic, you know, nobody would, you know, everybody was kind of be like eye rolling, but that's kind of where we are. And that's our new. Uh, reality and again the most important thing just like it is uh, in life just like it is in trading never in, for example in trading never you know sacrifice one day for the bigger picture and, and obviously in life as well don't sacrifice uh, one night right or a couple of nights uh, for your long-term health pro uh, prowess so hopefully everybody's doing well hopefully you guys had a great year and the next time you see uh, this broadcast it will be uh, 2000 uh, 22. So let's wrap this up, right? Let's wrap this up. Um, you know, market played out today pretty much like we thought, right? Like I talked about yesterday, I was very unenthusiastic kind of uh, going into uh, today's session. I didn't really expect a lot. Uh, the names that we talked about uh, last night in the video, you know, they played all right. There was a one big significant play today. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But, you know, they played all right. Uh, REV. I uh, had this really nice move. We talked about this last night. Uh, went from 12 and a half uh, to nearly 14. Uh, square that we highlighted last night uh, got below uh, got below this uh, 62 and a half area. Uh, went all the way down to 58 and a half. You know, Moderna, and I kind of like this a possible Moderna play uh, for tomorrow back to the upside. But, you know, took out this whole channel here. You know, went down about four bucks and held a perfect double bottom. This is kind of why I like uh, maybe for the upside move tomorrow. We'll talk about that in a second, but that's kind of what it was. You know, if you look at the indexes today, um, they did exactly pretty much what we talked about. NASDAQ had this really, really big run. Um, you know, a lot of names just kind of drifted. They, they did absolutely nothing, but the bullish part of what the day did today was kind of a setup going into next week or next year uh, was the successful back test into this rising five-day support. And if you look at a lot of the strong names today, you're, you, you know, you're gonna see a lot of the same similarities. And that's the most important part. There was no significant selling because there was, no, there was not a mass vast uh, participation today in the market. There's, if you looked at the options market today, there weren't any significant seven, eight, you know, seven figure bets. Uh, there wasn't anything you know, crazy that you kind of, your eyebrows uh, you know, were, were, were raised. It was just kind of a day. It was basically a couple of days before the end of the year and you know around you know 11 o'clock in the morning you started seeing you know the volume just drift and drift and drift and slowly but surely it kind of gone away and that's what it is that's what it is and tomorrow you know give yourself you know give yourself a couple of hours uh you know trade to like 11 11 30 maybe noon and if there's no value tomorrow, and again, there's a couple of plays I'll, 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 I'll share with you guys for tomorrow. But, you know, if there is nothing going on tomorrow, again, don't try to squeeze water out of a rock. Um, you know, there'll always be uh, something long term. And that's the whole point. You're not jeopardizing one trading session, burning uh, mental equity or burning uh, physical capital. Uh, to kind of pacify you because, quote unquote, you need to trade again. Okay? So uh, if I was, you know, very enthusiastic about tomorrow, well, hell, I'm going to be definitely un much more enthusiastic for tomorrow's session. I mean, do you have some names that look good? Yeah, you do. You know, uh, STX uh, maybe needs a couple of more days trying to attack the top of the channel here. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a name like Visa. 
it's actually doing a lot better than a lot of the financials. And if you look at Visa's run, it had this big, big move, uh, consolidating over the 50-day moving average, keeps on bouncing off this rising five-day moving average. So, you know, Visa just all it needs to do, if the financials are strong tomorrow, just needs to clear out this whole channel here and maybe get a five, six dollar pusher. Not a bad uh, looking chart uh, as well. Uh, Moderna, right? Moderna does not look horrible, right? There's, there's nothing horrible about it. You could see here, it was a double bottom here, right? Say it lost that 277 pivot, went down to the lows of December the 10th, which is 233. If you see today's low, da, 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 233, it held a double bottom. So if Moderna starts you know, starts accumulating, starts accumulating, starts building above today's channel. Maybe you can have a nice uh, snapback day, five, 10 points, depending uh, how strong the move is. So again, you know, there's, there's not a lot of meat, but like I said yesterday, there's going to be enough that you could kind of band-aid a day today. Um, you know, some bounce plays off of a rising daily support like we saw today in Tesla. We'll show you that in a second. Uh, but more important things, guys, again, Stick to your guns, stick to your discipline. Again, everybody uses the word patience, but most people you know, are just afraid to, to apply it. But, but the bottom line is you need patience. You need, uh, you need to be reserved sometimes because again, sometimes you'll play a hand and you're playing a hand strictly out of boredom and your heart's not in it. That means your tier size is not in it. That means even if you make money, you're not gonna make money on the trade. And if you lose money, you're gonna burn more mental, more mental equity than there is uh, on the actual monetary side. So again, unless you're getting a really, really good uh, technical setup or a technical defense, what's the point, right? Like what's the point here? Again, there's always will be cleaner, more majestic days with expansion channels that we talked about last night. And the most important part is, again, you're extending your shelf life and what you're doing is getting much more screen time that's valuable for a day like tomorrow or the next day uh, than anything else. So going into tomorrow, you know, I like a couple of things. You know, nothing's crazy. Um, you know, I'm gonna watch Roku. I know I was watching this thing uh, maybe for some sort of PR. If, if there is no PR tomorrow, you know, look at the bottom of this channel here in case the market pulls tomorrow. You know, this thing held three separate times in the bottom support. You know, eventually something has to give here in this top, top of the channel and the bottom of the channel here. So we're gonna keep an eye on both. So uh, going to tomorrow, I'm kind of Delta neutral. Um, you know, maybe we get a bounce back day tomorrow in some of the key uh, tech names. But like I said, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, the key uh, more macro area was today, we came down slowly, uh, tested the rising five day moving average. Again, that is a short term sentiment and we bounced and a lot of bounced with it. And let's kind of segue that into uh, today's channel. So, you know, we talked about it. You know, yesterday we talked about it on the video, uh, 6250, 62, if it builds below can flush, here was square. Right, nothing crazy. Here's a 62 and a half, went down to 58 and a half. Not a bad move, right? Not a bad move at all. Uh, Boeing, I was watching to the upside, never got there. Amazon, I was watching to the upside, uh, never got there. Uh, Pfizer, I was watching to the downside, 57 held twice. Well, now Pfizer held uh, 57 three times, right? One, two, three. So that 57 is gonna be a big, big area uh, going forward. But hey, if Moderna, uh, has a, a you know maybe a, a snapback day maybe Pfizer does as well who knows um, uh, Nvidia is watching to the upside obviously never got there uh, here's you know here's a pivot on Moderna uh, two thirty uh, two thirty seven uh, is a sneaky pivot two thirty three is macro it went from two thirty seven down perfectly to two thirty three the only thing is it didn't confirm right it didn't confirm macro but again not everything is not everything is going to be perfect uh revlon we talked about this last night uh 1250 needs to build again lower volume they ju they juiced this thing this thing went to, to 1385 not a bad move at all uh amc if it builds below can flush it went down to like into the 2660s and then kind of reverse nothing crazy there uh either so again take on the way down on moderna uh take on the way down on square blah 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 uh, and this was and, and this was definitely uh, definitely definitely the play of the day. Uh, again, I went into today with absolutely no expectations. I had no you know disappointments, and then something fell into our lap. So uh, again, the five day moving average, just like the same way we saw uh, the Qs today, right? Test the five day moving average again for all you guys who are kind of joining us recently. The five day moving average is. The five-day moving average is the shortest-term sentiment, and whoever whoever takes control of the five-day moving average 
will probably have uh, a shorter term bias in that direction. And this was the play. This is definitely the play of the day. Uh, Tesla for longer term view. 1066 is the five day moving average. If bulls defend, can snap back. And Tesla was great, absolutely great. Um, here was Tesla. As you can see here, it tested perfectly. Everybody see this uh, orange line, right? 1066, it got down to 1064, remounted to 1066, and just exploded. At one point, it went green, uh, traded up to like 1096. For all you guys who are holding a runner, that's the point. Hold the runner now. You got a macro play. Uh, you're using now break even as you stop, right? You, you pretty much have a play that's uh, against the five day moving average. So if there is an update tomorrow uh, in the broader market of technology and Tesla starts you know, reclaiming shorter term levels. And hey, you know, maybe you could get a move right back to the top of the channel here. So here is the defense. They bulls held um, some, we saw some pretty aggressive call buyers coming in uh, also today for the Januarys. We saw some 1400s, uh, some 1300s being bet. So Tesla, just like the Qs, successfully tested the five day moving average. They held, they snapped it back. Now it needs to start uh, reclaiming the previous couple of days levels and who knows maybe gonna move all the way up to uh, the upper Bollinger Band so that was uh, fine as well and that was pretty cool I mean, and again that's kind of the whole point of technical analysis you, you don't need opinions right you don't need somebody on uh, you know on a message board talking about Tesla's going to 500 the next person is saying it's going to 1500 just look at the charts look at the charts they're your ultimate guide your, your ultimate lifeline and there is, you know, just there's nothing else more pure uh, than technical analysis. Uh, again, you know, if you took it for a day trade, take on the way up, use break even as a stop. Uh, and, it, and it kept on going, right? It kept on going. First move uh, went to 1072. And then you started seeing moves uh, all the way to 1081. And then, you know, we had one more. And then Tesla went green, right? Tesla went green. So a huge, huge pop in Tesla, $30 move. Uh, off the five day moving average. Uh, again, for tomorrow's session, I, I would like to see technology to kind of wake up just to see if we can get some sneaky channels, maybe the video wake up, all the ones that kind of led higher. Because if you look at uh, some of the names that, you know, didn't sell off today, they, they, they're held, they held, you know, they held fine. Apple held fine, uh, Microsoft held fine, right? There's a lot of names that, that you know, that did uh, pretty, pretty well uh, considering the consolidation and the pullback uh, into the five day moving average. So for all you guys who are uh, finally, finally get off the fence and are interested uh, in trading pivots, we got a couple of days left, a, a really, really cool offer uh, for all you guys to kind of test drive uh, the pivots to see if they're right uh, fit for you. If you've been kind of watching this broadcast for the last year or so, uh, and you're finally ready to go, we are starting brand up 2022 on Monday. Uh, we learned a lot of good things this year uh, just because of COVID and kind of focused our attention to trading. Uh, we implemented a lot more things. The bounce plays have been really, really great. It's been a, a big fixture on the day to day. Uh, the option flow is just a must, an absolute must uh, in every uh, trader's uh, toolbox, I guess. Right. And the most important part is we eliminated a lot of the things that drive traders uh, into a pre uh, premature exit in this business and hopefully uh, we'll start implementing more and more for 2022. So for all you guys, uh, God bless. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Next time you see me and hear my voice will be on the 2022 uh, weekend update. Guys, God bless. Hope everybody has a great trading day tomorrow. Stay healthy and with God's help, we'll see each other tomorrow. Take care.